everyone in this quick video I'm going to show you how to debug your smart contract easily and quickly with the help of hard hat so let's do it remix and I'm going to write the contract here so I would call this um, test contract so So I call my contract contract um, test debug. So here, first I'm showing you the traditional way I debug the contract and probably you also do this. So let's say we have a function, function um, test and it gets one uint as like input coin something like that and this is an extra external function so let's imagine here we have some code it doesn't really matter and here we are going to you know debug that the traditional way is you define an event let's call this log and over here you emit this event and let's say we want to pass um, the sender address and let's say input coin. Just an example. So, and then here we need to define that. We say okay, we have type of address, it's going to be the sender and input coin. Uh, and let's say points something like this so let's compile this code <coughs> so it's successfully compiled that's why we see this um, green flag and then we are going to deploy that so if we deploy this here and go over here and give some number let's say 777 this is what we get if you scroll down, we see logs, and here we see sender and coins. Okay, so that's the traditional way. This is the way most in use. Now we are going to use, um, you know, hard hat and see how it can improve our coding and how it could be better. So in order to do that, you need to import and hard hat like this hard hat slash console console so because we want to use this console it's pretty much like the you know console log in um, javascript if you're familiar with javascript or node.js you know how you debug your code your script like that so we are going to basically um, follow that uh, structure so we make another contract um, test debug 2 and here um, we just define our function again, function test and get like you need uh, input coins, just a number and this is an external function and here uh, we don't need to define basically this event and do anything, um, we need to just write console log similar to javascript and here we can actually put what we want to um, debug that at runtime so i want to debug um, input coin um, i can i want to also see who is the sender mm, i can also add some comments or I mean, a string or whatever i like to do um, i would say um, here is the
good. And here now I'm going to compile the second one. So let's kill it up here. Because um, we want to see how to deploy that. And if I go here and type some numbers, let's say something like this. And there we go. Here you can see the console log. You know, here is my string, here is the sender address, and here is the um, uh, coins. So you, you can also use that in any way you like. Similar to JavaScript, you can just send some messages. Um, welcome to my channel. You can add some like true false, uh, some Boolean value here. And so you can do whatever you like, and it's really flexible and easy, and makes you know task of debugging faster and easier. So let me compile the code. Clean up here, and play this one, and give some number. And as you can see, here is the output of the console. So that was it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and see you on the next one. Bye bye.